Hello and welcome to Open Treasure, the museum at Durham Cathedral. My name's Sean, I'm the exhibitions assistant here at the museum and I want to talk to you today about the Sanctuary Ring. Um, some of you may know it as the Sanctuary Knocker, um, but it's never had a knocking plate behind it. If you were trying to use that ring to knock against the door, you would have hurt your knuckles as it hit the hardwood behind it. It was also never needed. There would always have been a monk on duty in a room above the north door. The only people that touched the ring were people claiming sanctuary. People who came here to claim sanctuary were allowed 37 days inside the cathedral to basically put their affairs in order. They were allowed to either submit to the rule of the courts, sort out a deal themselves along with the aggrieved parties, or they had the option to leave the country. If they chose to leave the country, they were given usually three days to make the journey to Hartlepool on foot and find a ship that was leaving the country. If anyone was caught returning, they could be imprisoned and then dealt with more severely in the process. It wasn't always to Hartlepool people were sent. That was entirely at the decision of the coroner. We do have one record of a prisoner being given 10 days on foot to get down to Dover, an almost impossible task. So it would have paid to keep uh, the coroner on your side. The ring itself is obviously an image that people associate with Durham, but all the time the real meaning behind the image has been lost. At the time it was made in the 12th century, this hell mouth was a very popular image in medieval art, medieval stories, and it appeared almost everywhere. People wouldn't need an explanation. The main part of the ring takes the form of a demon or a lion, often considered a lion because of their role in the execution of early Christians. That demon is coming from hell. This is a hell mouth. Although it hasn't been cast and carved, there is an understanding that there's a figure of a man being devoured inside the mouth and their legs in turn are being eaten by a two-headed snake. Now the symbolism behind that is twofold. Either the person being eaten is being taken through the mouths of hell into the cathedral itself and therefore sanctuary and safety. The other idea is the person claiming sanctuary has approached the sanctuary ring, grabbed the demon and pulled the man out of uh, hell and therefore saved themselves and the man in the process. Originally, it probably would have had red glass eyes which would have given it a much more demonic appearance if the light caught it right. The one that you see on the north door now is a replica that was made from an exact cast of this when it was taken off the door in the late 70s for conservation work. If any of you visited the cathedral before that date, you've probably got pictures or have memories of actually grabbing hold of the ring and it'll be your hands that have helped turn it back to its original bronze colour at the bottom. Obviously you can't touch this one now, but the uh, one on the north door is having a long life of its own and there's plenty of more memories to be made there next time you visit. Look forward to seeing you.